Right, hi everyone. Um, I just made a quick visit to post office and I, I picked up these parcels that were delivered for me. Um, they include a graphics upgrade for my Amiga 3000 and uh, well, what's inside the boxes? Let's take a look. Okay, so here they are. And on the left there is the VA2000 graphics card. Uh, this card includes a micro SD reader. Uh, it has an HDMI output for video and also a USB port, you know, just for firmware updates. Uh, the card actually runs a Spartan 6 FPGA chip, you know, and it, it can be updated for for uh, well, like new features or or other upgra upgrades. Uh, and on the right side, there's the VA2000CX video slot expansion. Uh, this is used to uh, mainly output the native Amiga modes to the VA2000, so that they can be outputted digitally to a monitor so you need only one one monitor to to be able to access all the graphics mode on your Amiga and both of these are eagerly waiting to be installed inside my Amiga 3000 right here behind this is a fairly stock Amiga 3000 so it does not have any uh, processor upgrades or anything it has 18 megs of RAM and an Ethernet card but that's basically it. It's running 25 megahertz on a 68,030. And um, I've had this computer for a few months now. Uh, ended up buying this one from eBay, you know, just to play around with uh, and, uh, you know, as a hobby. I first heard about this VA2000 project about a year ago, I guess, and basically this card is a one-man project. It's been created by a German guy called Lucas Hartmann, and um, for me there are a few things that made, made this card the best choice for me. I think uh, from my point of view it's, it's a brand new card and it's still fairly affordable compared to uh, some of the, you know, original Amiga graphics card, like 20 year old Picasso cards or such. They can be fairly expensive, prices ranging from 200 to 500 or more euros. So uh, having a new card like this is, is a good option. And it's also an ongoing project, so I'm sure there should be a lot of lot more like updates in the future to give more speeds or other features. Um, as I mentioned, it's capable of outputting the native Amiga modes. And well, last but not 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 totally not uh, not least for me, uh, it's open source. So all the hardware. Everything, software, drivers, firmware, everything is open source. So although I know that I'm not capable of uh, programming anything for this or the idea of, you know, I'm sure Lucas has spent a lot of hours uh, designing this, everything, you know, all the details, everything, the software, the hardware, everything, and still He's uh, willing to release it as open source straight from the beginning is, is something that I really, you know, totally give thumbs up for. It's quite amazing. And um, But yeah, if you want more information about this card, you can go to the uh, website of, of the VA2000. And uh, uh, there you can find also the source code and, and more more info about the design process of this card. Very, very interesting to read. But I guess um, I've had some enough talking now and I will I will try to, I will get down and do the installation for this thing and uh, 
we'll see if it works. It's it's totally possible that it won't even run on my computer. It, I know that the the sim particular Amiga three thousand has suffered some battery leakage uh, damage. I know flicker fixture ain't working, but um, I'm 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 still quite positive that it might might work it should not affect the digital output but yeah we'll see what happens and if it works I will I will install the drivers I will try to run a few programs and see what it looks like so let's see mm -hmm. 